Welcome back to the stream. We're playing Funny Dang and Rampa. Epic Dang and Rampa, epic. Is the game card not inserted? Why is Splatoon 2 here? Alright, well now I need to find the Dang and Rock game card, I guess. So, that's a BRB moment. There we go, now it's funny bear game time. So this is probably just going to be daily life because I know chapter 5 deadly life is very short. Mukuro Ikusaba. Mukuro Ikusaba. <laughs> The sixteenth student. The sixteenth student. Lying hidden, hidden somewhere, somewhere in, the in the school. The funny. The one they call the, the one ultimate they call despair. the ultimate despair. Watch, Watch out, for out for her. Kyokyo told me to watch out for her. That's three days before the next incident. Three days before the worst thing so far would reveal itself. What? What? Wait, they show it before? I don't remember this. What? So let's begin the usual post-trial investigation. Hmm. If you want to keep up with me, you must refrain from pointless small talk. So again, for anybody who's just tuning in, I already know what happens, I'm just... I'm just re... I'm just... Re... like re-experiencing it because I thought it'd be fun. Well? Hmm. 
They creep around the school like a mouse, but the mastermind's pride is as bloated as a cow's udder. In the name of my family. And no matter what it takes, I will rid this world of them. Huh? Hey, Tucker, you've been pretty quiet. Man, you're so boring now. You sit there like they're like a mushroom. Gonna call you Miss Mushroom. What's your deal? She didn't snap back at you. Her talking makes things difficult, so I told her to open her mouth, not to open her mouth without permission. She needed her water. I don't care. And you're okay with that, Toko? Jeez, how low is that rock you're hiding under? I believe this is Come the small on. talk Ryaki worked us, warned us against. And yet I let myself get involved, but it is now finished. I will never allow you Let's to drag go. me down to your level. We're going to be in our search. Stop running your mouse and start moving your legs. So here I'm on the fifth floor in those Peak Academy. For some reason it feels unpleasant. Huh? I don't remember that. seems pretty far away. Pretty proud of my eyesight, gotta say. What Kyoko told me yesterday. Yukuro Ikisama. Oh my fucking god. The, school, the one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. <laughs> I'm Kyoko. I'm not gonna say anything. I can't say anything. Hey. You understand why, right? So then. We're finished here. in here. Even though the dunes are the buzz, there's a cherry tree planted here and it's full bloom. Indeed. I lived overseas for a long time, so this type of Japanese style scenery is very refreshing. I thought I saw blue skies, but it turns out they just painted the walls and ceiling. Over the plant area, it's been a while since this smell of vegetation. Hmm. Why is that bad? Don't you realize that you are a plant life? It's just you near know, beneath the surface, beneath their common they're always watching and waiting. And when they decide they can't leave in front of church, they'll put their plan into global human extinction into action. I'm serious. Thanks, Yasuhiro. 
This is why you're the funniest character in this game. Whoa, what is this? Is this thing real? Watch out! Watch out! That's a Monokuma flower! I came up with the name myself! Try and touch it and you're for some real excitement! Your hearts are like, whoa! And the plants are like, snap! And your flesh is all like, whoa, I'm dead! In other words, it's a monstrosity. It's pretty freaking amazing if I do say so myself. <laughs> it's pretty freaking amazing if I say do say so myself. The ultimate botanist. Although they don't go here anymore, they died during the tragedy. Actually. By the way, despite how it looks, that ball is super practical. It can eat paper, plastic, even people. So it's totally good for the environment. Such an eco-friendly creation is vital for the future growth of a healthy society. <laughs> Not that I know anything about that myself! Shrouding out more nonsense, Monokim will eventually disappear. Whatever it is, I better keep my distance. Nice! Is this a chicken creep? What's a chicken creep doing here? This place even has chickens, huh? They're just regular chickens. Like, they don't eat people who lay bombs instead of eggs or something? It's a chicken. It's really alive, right? There's no mistake. <laughs> oh, so you like chickens too, Makoto's? Yeah, I love these little guys. They're so cute, right? And that's exactly part of them here. Five, you know, the number that comes up to four and six, at least in terms of natural numbers. Anyway, whenever the number five pops up, that's a good omen, man. It contains, it contains the mysteries of the cosmos. Right. It's the number of power, a refreshing number of power, hard art, squeeze, all natural lemonade. So exactly five chickens. But there were six chickens in there. There were six chickens in there. Hmm. I saw six chickens. Or is my mind playing tricks on me? There's some kind of control panel. Does this control the air conditioning? It's for the sprinklers! <laughs> yeah, it controls the sprinklers in the garden. The sprinklers are set to go off every morning at 7.30. Make your day change with that permission. Of course, the settings panel is locked, so you could have changed it if you wanted to. <laughs> it's super user friendly. Which sucks. So if you get to her to too early, you're gonna get so much stuff. But you're not a little kid, right? You can also go run into sprinklers. Or do you have some kind of water fetish? I'm gonna tell everyone! <laughs> Carved on the handle of this pickaxe. Crazy diamond. I feel like I remember that somewhere. I feel like I remember that from a show about funny, funny people and their funny. And they're funny ghost monsters that they used to fight. Rattle, rattle, it's locked. The sign in the hall says Biolab, a Biolab that we're forbidden from getting into. Um. This floor feels different compared to all the others. I hope it's not anything too creepy. Oh, right, hello. I see. It's 
smells awful, doesn't it? It's, it must be at least vaguely familiar to you. After all, you have been around your fair share of corpses. It's the smell of death, the smell of their flesh and fat blood. Hmm. So the smell here is strong, condensed. It's like the smell of a battlefield. Monokuma must have... Hey. What? My fault again? Stop trying to blame everything on me. No, no, it's quite the opposite. The opposite. Yep, let me give you an itty bitty squeaky little hint. As far as this, as far as this room goes, I don't know a thing. I just left it exactly as I found it. What? Yes, indeed. How's that for him? Better than the stupid hints you get from NPCs in the Zolt RPGs. But it's pretty scary, huh? Blood all over the walls and junk. Of course, even in the outside world, people die bloody and gruesome death every day. So it's not really a big deal. Just keep your chin up and keep on living, soldier. Um, Biakia, about what Monokuma just told us. The white chuck, how many bodies were there? You always see it at the scene of a murder. There's blood all over the place. It appears all the blood seems all dry, and the color has changed as well. I'd say it's, it's, I think it's safe to say those things are considerably old. <laughs> of course, I wouldn't find it interesting otherwise, and it is interesting, I think. What on earth happened to this assignment, to this classroom? Everyone is returning, but it's just the six of us. That's barely enough just for the second. volleyball team. Don't be thought of pussy. Besides, even if one of we can still feel the basketball team, that's like we're first positive thinking. Anyway, it's no time to be depressed. For the sake of anyone's loss, we have to do our best. Can we all stop this group hug nonsense? We need to figure out what we've discussed. We need to discuss what we figured out. By the way, did any of you find it? The other strange room on the fifth floor? Well, no, strange is a massive understatement. The smell of s flesh and fat and blood. The white outlines of countless corpses. It was more dreadful than anything I've encountered here so far. What the hell are you talking about? The smell itself was horrific. Far beyond any normal murder scene, everybody smelled concentrated. God, I'm glad I didn't see it. I feel like I'm gonna bark to seeing you describe it. But I mean, what the hell happened so to that room? I can only think of one thing. A large group of people <laughs> died right in the room. It can't be. Perhaps that was meant by the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. You're thinking the same thing then. You, I think that the mass murder took, that took place in that room is the incident that is said to have happened one year ago. In other words, the tragedy is another name for the genocide of the student body at Oak Hill Academy. Too. That would explain yeah. why Oak Peak was forced to close doors. Bylab. That's the only place on the fifth floor we can access. If it looks, we say hurry in the farm boss or the timer, but we're not in a horror game though. Either way, we don't need to worry about it at the moment. Don't bother thinking about something that can't be understood. Your tiny brains can only do so much, so focus on utilizing them efficiently. What? You know? Well, there's a big garden up on the fifth floor. I found a stupidly large plant, a chicken coop, 
And I know you're gonna say, but a tool shed. Monokuma said it was called the Monokuma fire. Even touching it is dangerous. It's totally a man-eating plant, Noon. I'm pretty sure it's di di different from the one that lives in the pipe, though. Look, that's that's a reference. That's a reference. Anyway, that thing must benefit from the sprinkler system as much as anyone in there. Yeah, apparently the sprinklers come every mm. come on every morning at 7:30 on the dot. Yeah, remember that. You don't want to get drenched and catch a cold. <laughs> of course not, because idiots never get wet. I'm worried about you, you here. Can you tell me what time this town is? Hey, come on, you don't always have me done. I may have been out back few times, but that doesn't make me stupid. But it makes you happy. So, what was the question again? You know? There are a bunch of chickens in the chicken coops. That's right, five, five chickens. I love chickens. Let's give them, let's raise them up being fat. Then we can make fried chicken. Ooh, we're barbecued. Or how about raw? There's nothing fresher than raw, right? I'm pretty sure that'd kill you. You know? You noticed it too, what? the pickaxe. What about the pickaxe? Well, there was a pickaxe in the tool shed, and the, and the words Crazy Diamond had been carved in it. Haven't we seen that phrase somewhere before? Mm. Crazy Diamond, though. Yeah, that does sound kind of familiar. Uh, I don't think... I know, we've definitely seen that phrase before. Oh, uh, that's it, I remember. It was on Mondo's uniform, on the back of his jacket. I said the same thing, right? Crazy Diamond, he must be a huge JoJo fan. Mm. You're absolutely right, but why would that be on the pickaxe in the garden? Mondo must have stuck in there and done it, but we didn't have access to the garden until today. Then maybe Mondo brought it with him until when he first came here and Monica McCarn confiscated it. Hmm. Yo. What I noticed was the lawnmower. Maybe we can use it to call for help. I know, maybe we can make crop circles or something. Well, I know, make crop circles and we can use those to call for help. You know? Well, back then, my personality had not quite solidified then. I'm more disappointed in you now than I'd ever been. Yeah. I checked all the windows on the fifth floor front to back. Mm -hmm. They used to be sacros round. Anyway, no dice. There are metal plates on them, just like everyone else, which means no chance of escape. But I realized something about the layout of the school. Just a second. So then. The fifth floor is lacking something that every other floor has. I'm talking about stairs, there aren't any stairs leading up from the fifth floor. Correct. Does that mean the fifth floor is the end? We're finally <laughs> going starting to get a clear picture of the school. All oh, this is the house is all the underlying mystery. Okay. Hey, Biakia, yeah, it seems that Chucko wants to say something. Hey. So, what are you telling me? Because you told her to zip it or whatever. Ah, oh, I've forgotten about that. Jesus, man, I know you like torturing her, but come on. Well, Toko, if you want to envelop us all in your repeated breath, I won't stop you. You want to remaster and don't worry, I took care of the owner problem. Shut up and don't let anyone master me or talking. Well, I was in a classroom on the fifth floor and something caught my attention. It was this. A knife? Well, the thing is huge. It's rainbow size. It's a survival knife of some kind. What's it doing in a classroom? How do I know? What are you going to do this knife for? What are you going to planning to do to us? I'm not going to do anything. I just picked it up. I didn't want to leave a light knife laying around. I'd rather have it laying around than the hands of a serial killer. Don't compare me to her. I'm nothing like her. Now that we have the knife, what are we gonna do with it? We can't let Togo keep it, that's for sure. What's your problem? So then. Why don't you hang on to it, Makoto? <laughs> oh yeah, I told we trust Makoto to take care of it. It's all clear now. It just shows how much they trust you. You should do as they ask. It feels as though they're using me. They're acting like they already said yes. Fine. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. That's fine. 
Hey Toko, you made a valuable discovery. Good job. Huh? Did Master just <laughs> praise me? Hey, good for you. I'm dreaming. I must be dreaming that I've ever experienced just a dream. I feel strange, really strange. Whenever I look at Toko these days, it makes me feel sad. <laughs> Well, I think that's all the new information we have for now. Hmm. Starting today, you're all under my command. But before we proceed, I need to figure no something way. out. Um. Kyoko's identity. Well. Kyoko's Kyoko, right? Yes, but who is she? The rest of us have a clear, definable reason for being S7 been selected to attend Hope Peaks Academy. He knows the ultimate swimming flow, he was the clairvoyant. Even Makoto's the ultimate lucky student. What about Kyoko? Can anyone tell me what she is? It's not the matter of what she likes or doesn't like, it's a matter of trust. Can you trust someone who's really unwilling to unwilling to reveal their identity? So Kyoko, it's time you told us. I can't. I didn't say I won't, I said I can't. So because I don't remember. I have no memory of what I am. You mean amnesia? What? If I thought you had a sense of humor, I'd say you were joking. But if this is a joke, I'm not laughing. I knew you wouldn't believe me. That's why I didn't say anything. But it doesn't matter. Either way, the truth will make itself clear what? before we're done. So you have no intention of telling us that now I can no longer stand by and do nothing. What are you going to do? Torture me? Nothing so over that. I will simply limit your options. I can't allow you to engage in any further uh -huh. suspicious activity. Just give up. Give me the key to your room. Hmm. And if she doesn't want that, she'll talk. It's easy. All she has to do is tell us. That's fine. Fine, <laughs> I understand. Good, you're finally in the mood for conversation. It can't be. You damn fool. Why do you refuse to talk? Whether I want to or not, I can't. All I can do is keep telling you that. Maybe she really did lose her memory. That doesn't sound totally impossible. This is the worst school ever where the old worst stuff happens. The worst school ever where only the worst thing happens. Can you be sure that life here is really filled with only the worst thing? Perhaps I've said too much. Come on. Goodbye. They're not going to do to harm any of you. What the heck? Yoko's last words. The dining hall were silent. What's your deal? I think you went too far to your room key like that. <laughs> For her, that wasn't enough. Or maybe she gets off on the attention. I can't believe her enjoying getting yelled at. You're getting noisy again, Toko. Come on. Sorry, I still can hear you. The sounds of your breathing, of your heart beating, you quit suddenly. Are you telling her to die? I mean, I know how you feel, but what's Kyoko going to do now? The situation is. It's no different from when everyone was using Sakura. Um. Cause I mean. If to you, how long have you been sitting there? No. I'm very, very angry. Angry at what? At the thief. Yeah, that's very right. I have to tell you, there's a thief in your mix. Hey. My precious. They stole it. Your, your precious. Had such faith in you. Reality is filled with so much hardship, isn't it? No wonder people run away into their fantasies. Shut up! I hope all you get stuck in a higher and freeze and die penniless on the street. What the heck? So, um... He said something about his precious getting stolen. Hmm. It is likely has something to do with hmm. Kyoko, who other than her would be willing to steal something from Monokuma. <laughs> we need to get out of here. What happened with Monokuma and Kiko? I feel like there's something in the air. Stay in your room and don't go wandering around. Now we need you to talk to us that. Well then, let's disperse. I'll see you all tomorrow. Oh, that's right. I need to put away this knife I got from Toko. But anyway, is Kyoko really going to be okay? Is there something I can do?
Did I hear the doorbell? Hey. Kyoko, I'll be waiting for you in the dressing room. See you there. So I asked you to meet with me Come so late. On. So then. It's okay, I'm used to it. Indeed. Let me get straight to the point. It's something you can't talk about in front of the surveillance camera. Does this have something to do with whatever you stole from Monokuma? Monokuma said you just stole the stole from him. That's right. So I was right. So... What did you steal? I stole this. A key. But well, look at it. It was shaped like Monokuma. It was a. It was a, probably the only kind of it on its earth. So. From the headmaster's room. She looked into the hagmaster's room, but wasn't locked. The lock was broken. Right. It was Sakura. She did it for us. Indeed. Remember what she said to know? I'm not going to lay down and die. I will fight you. So she broke into the headmaster's room for us. So she could, we could uncover whatever was hidden beneath. She violated school regulations to help us. She'd already decided to die, so her last act was to defy the rules of this place. Indeed. I noticed the room was open after the last class trial was over yesterday. But if I just strolled in the room, Monokuma would have noticed right away, which is why I used you as a decoy. So I asked me to use the main data center. Correct, I wanted you to draw Monokuma's attention. Mukuro, if the sick, the one they call oh my fucking god. Watch, Watch out for her. her. Mukuro Ikusaba. I can see why this has become a meme now. Did you find out about this Mukuro Ikusaba? I did find a file. I don't know the details, but what I do know is that Mukuro Ikusaba is dangerous. In other words, she may very well be the mastermind. Wrong. I don't know who yet, but I'm no doubt I mind. Alright, what if it's the lab master? Does that mean anyway. Mukuro Ikusaba is the mastermind? This key is one big opportunity. Now that we grabs it, we can't let it go. So... I don't know yet, which is why I need you to draw Monokuma's attention while I go find out. Is that the right? what? But they didn't catch on last night. Hey. Maybe the Mastermind King could monitor us and control Monokuma at the same time. Like I said, we didn't get caught at the same time. Caught last night. Go be with your luck. Which is why we're gonna run the experiment one more time. Hey. It was true that the mastermind can't watch us and control Monokuma at the same time. There would have to be a period of time where the mastermind is ver vulnerable. What we need to do is find out for sure if that's actually true and exploit it. Why is that? <laughs> no restrictions have been placed on our effort to solve the mystery. Even when I took the key, I didn't break any rules as far as I could tell. But if the mastermind decides to do something, all, all the rules in the world will matter. You could kill us all without a second thought. If that plan fails, will we still be able to prove or disprove the hypothesis? In the moment of crisis, will the mastermind break their own rules or do to them no matter what? In other words, we gain something whether we succeed or not. Now, there's no reason if not to do it. you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll... We know the danger, but if, hey. that risk, if that risk means solving the mystery, we have to do it. I don't know if I, I, her eyes, her gaze was firmly fixed on the mystery head, the enemy standing before us. And with that, she just <laughs> smiled. I can't take change how I feel, even if I could. It's true. Consider it a symbol of my determination. Only open it if something ever happens to me. I'm not planning on dying, but I'm only planning, but there's always a chance of it. And a death without meaning is unappealing. I want you to hold on to it for me. Indeed. Hey. Oh, one more thing. You can't tell anyone else about what I've discovered. Because then there's a chance the mastermind might fall on doubt, right? Well. It's nothing. Forget it's I said silver. anything. Makoto. Shall we begin? I'm counting on you, Makoto. Goodbye. No, everything's gonna be fine, I know it, because it's Kyoko. 
Okay, let's do this. Hey, Monokuma, you can see me, right? Get out of here. I've got a bone to pick with you. Monokuma appears! Well, this is a surprise. You being the one hey, to call me out. Hey, by the way! What were you and Kyoko up to? Going to the bathhouse? Just the two of you in the middle of the night? Definitely a hot and steamy moment, wouldn't you say? So warm and wet, so wet and warm, I bet you guys. Removed to conform with local and international censorship laws. All over her, didn't you? That That's a Spamton moment. <laughs> Even though this game is first for whatever. That, is that a Spamton Deltarune reference? I'm not gonna talk, I'm huh? sure I get it. I'm like, yeah, I have low, no only interest in late night flat scenes. Because I like to main, maintain a healthy life of observation far away from X-rated exploits. Oh, is that why there's no surveillance cameras in the bathhouse? Bullseye! Or maybe it's because the lens gets all fogged up and you can't see anything anyway. Sounds like that's the bullseye anyway. Anyway, you all you went through all the trouble to get at me. I didn't know what he want. Oh, well, uh, there's just something I wanted to confirm you to. Whether I'm a madam was all or a dude fella. But in the bear kingdom, there is no male or female. Oh, actually, there is. Seriously? Then what am I? Existence! That's enough. I'll get back if I think about it too much. So what do you really want to ask me? You told me earlier that your precious items were stolen. What's this precious of yours? What are you thinking? Listen, I'm sure this is the only question. No way it's possible and all, but is that seriously what you're dragging out here to ask me? You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be 100 megaton freaking kidding me. You're not gonna ask something useful like how to get the best honey or ursine breeding tips. <laughs> this is just crazy. Are all pubescent teen boys like you? God, you're so annoying! God, fine, I'll tell you. It was a key and a beep! That's it! What was the second thing? It's a blank, stupid! A secret! Fill it in yourself! Making me trudge all the way out here for that. I like to see what's going on in that bread of yours. And the next time you saw me for something so stupid, I'll put up your skull and find out! Dropping more than a few swear words, Monokuma running away. Monokuma Theater, brought to you by Spike Chunsoft Co. Limited, Comedy Limited. What? Huh? Sakura? I've seen this before, but it never fails to baffle me every fucking time. <laughs> what the fuck? That's Super Silas, Super Flash Little Game is created by Spike Chunsoft. Then we've got to buy it now, and you guys have got to recommend it to your friends too! So when is that game coming out, Spike Chunsoft? Good morning, everyone! It is now get ready to greet another beautiful day! I'd play a side I'd play a Dig and Rapa Dynasty Warriors game. My body feels so heavy this morning. Maybe it's good as I was up so late last night. Anyway, I need to go to the dining hall.
You're one minute late, Makoto. How do you explain that? What's your problem? You think it's hard to just like that? Huh? Are you allowed to talk again? I don't want to talk in the intermission. I thought it did, but I was reset. I'm sorry, please don't have me. I ain't sorry for my neck. This is bad, girl. I'll clean your bathroom with my toothbrush. If you stop making disgusting comments like that, maybe I can forgive you. She's disgusting in the bone. Anyway, where's Kyoto? I haven't seen him this morning. This is worse than being late for lunch for a day or for wedding or anything. Maybe she's mad about what happened yesterday and she's not going to show up anymore. Very strange. Whatever the reason, I'm curious to know what she is doing. I know she's not in the room, so... What's this? Are you looking for Miss Kiri Giri? Hey, what do you want now? Hey. I'm late, right? You want to know where Miss Kiri Giri is, right? Ooh. Well, it's hard to say. What? He doesn't know. That's what he's here to try and call uh -huh. for information. Don't you hate it when you ask someone what their favorite movie is and they name some indie bull crap? Hey. Maybe the master and can't monitor us and control Mama Kim at the same time. Hey. Could she be right about that? So, was it right? You're looking for Miss Kiriguri? Any idea where she might have gone? What you have heck? no idea. And you knew if you did know, we wouldn't tell you for serious. Hmm, I see. Well, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Sign our suckers. Hmm. Hmm. You know? Um. So where is she during this time? Is that ever explained? Very Monica looking at seem to look at her. Yeah, I can she not where she know where she is. Phew. Breakfast didn't help me feel more upbeat. I feel this is more than just me staying up late though. Oh, what presents do we have? Do we have anything Biaki I might like? I need to check my school report. Sunflower seeds? No.
Alright, it's time to go to... doing this. Oh wait, do we have Millennium Prize problems? We do. Alright, we can give that to him. What is that? Blossom bouquet. Okay, he likes that. Alright, we're gonna go hang out with our favorite NFT bro, Biakio Togami. Fine, I'll take it. I hope you appreciate this. Listen, Makoto, I wanted to ask you something. Sure, what's up? You know, only a chosen few reps won. So, in other words... For the other 99, I don't know why numbers break this game. Spending every hour toiling to scrap together and make your living. I don't understand. Just for... Is there any meaning to the life like that? <laughs> Because you're part of that 99%. Up until now, I've never been around to have anyone like that, so I'm interested. How does it feel to live a life without hope, without potential, or without dreams? Come on, I don't have ambition or dreams, I've never felt that way about myself. I mean, sure, I'll never be as rich as you or anything, but do you have to go around saying that to anyone? Can you only be happy because of the money you have? Your complaints are as old as tire as, the, as a third rate pop song for many generations. And yet, those are the words of the 99%. Stop saying things like that. Sorry, I cannot speak the truth. No matter how much you push and struggle, people like you will never be in a position to change the world. You could all disappear tomorrow and nothing would change. Your existence is of no consequence. If you live a total normal, if I can live a life that I'm satisfied with, that's all that matters. If I spent my, my, all my time preparing my life to others, I'd never be happy. Sure, you can do that. You're guaranteed success from the day you were born, so... Hold it. From the day I was born? You have no idea. You have no clue what you're talking about. Those who are chosen from birth have no concept of what that truly means. I have gone to battle and emerged victorious. That is why I am... 
chose the chosen. You spoiled all of you, running away into your wordless self-indulgence. Battle, competition, rivalry, that is why the 99%. Good God, your absolute lack of understanding makes me want to weep. But that got into him. He was acting pretty normal until I said something about being guaranteed for success when the day he was born. I feel even worse than I did this morning. I think I might be getting sick. Looking at you makes me physically ill. That's this is you bastard. How did you get your hands on this? Even the collective force of the entire Chigami Corporation would be enough to do in this room. I'm going to hold on to this. A bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. What? It's a proverb. It means if you can obtain something inferior, it means there's longing for something better. So in other words... So in other way, if all you have nearby is a loser, that's better than a proper assistant <laughs> far away. Makoto, be my secretary. A useless commoner like you could never hope to earn more than, say, a thousand dollars per year. But as my secretary, you'd be able to guarantee an ample salary and job security for the rest of your life. And in honor of it being my birthday today, how about I multiply your uh, already impossible expectations by, oh, uh, 5.5. Hey, Siri. What's a hundred thousand times five point five? That's like board member money. Of course, as my secretary, you wouldn't be a mere servant. At some point, I would want you to become an actual citizen, take a lead on important projects. Assuming you produce acceptable results, you become so a core words. part of the Chigami Corporation. I'm sorry, but I'm gonna have to say no. I'm gonna I'm trying to give you a chance to enter the battlefield of life and play victory. Most commoners will never give that chance. This is literally a once in a lifetime. This is your one and only okay. chance to rise above the 99%. Are you really so scared to fight to compete in order to win? Honest success, I wanna find my own battlefield. I would have wanted Anna to be. Then you meant what you said earlier, that you can live a life that you're satisfied with, that's all that matters. I'm glad to see you passed my test. The mere thought of someone like you as my secretary makes what? me ill. The salary offer still stands, of course. It's yours if you want it. I don't need you spreading rumors that Ryaki Tagami doesn't honor his word. Hmm. I don't understand you. You don't want to fight, yet you don't want to flee from the battle either. For me, happiness comes from living the life I want to live. <laughs> Interesting. And I have to enforce your will <laughs> to the very end. If you can do that, and if you can make it to the end, I'm afraid I'll be forced to acknowledge you. <laughs> I don't expect much from you, but I'll be waiting. I've got in the chills. I feel kind of dizzy. I need sleep. I was restless. At some point, I found myself wandering through a strange dream. I under understand. The voice, it's so familiar. Ah, uh, it's, it's me. I understand. I should understand everything. My goal isn't to get out of here. It's to stay here. 
What? It's outright said to you right here? Again, I've seen I've seen a playthrough and the anime of this game in particular, but I don't remember this fucking happening. Oh, this is all for hope, and that's why I have to stay. I have to stay here. My dream just now. What? So strange, huh? Kyoko? What did you. What did you. Every day is peaceful, every day is joyful. Happy days from the time you wake up to the time you go to sleep. Wishing for those, uh, only for those unchanging ending happy days of boredom repeating forever and ever. No abnormalities as far as the eyes can see. Life without the tiny perspective as for like that, I consider that pretty damn abnormal. The Monokuma theaters don't really have as much of a punch as in 2 and V3. Good. Get ready. Took longer than usual for me to open my eyes. The dream I had. Was it even really a dream? I was desperate to recall it. That's right, I remember last night. I came down with a fever, and I heard a voice I couldn't really understand, and then. All of a sudden, I was awake. And there's a strange person next to my bed wearing a mask with a smile for hours at a time. I find I was wearing it with fever. I was watching my body. I don't remember what really happened. I feel like I resisted them. And after that, things went black again. The next thing I remember, Kyoko was there. But what would she have been doing in my room? What a strange dream. Was it really a dream? How could I possibly find out either way? Destroyed, huh? It's empty, there's nothing inside. I'm positive I could put the knife from Toko in here. Wait, that means the knife they told me to keep safe. I knew it, it wasn't a dream after all. This makes even less sense. Why would have someone wanted to attack me? And who's buying the mask? And why was Kyoko? Ah. 
Oh, uh, there he is. This is worse than what? being late to your own wedding, your own, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. Shows like it's no big deal. You mean just to stay up all night like you slept like a baby in your bed? And then I noticed they formed a circle around something. What the? They're the remains of Monokuma. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantle it? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. She's the one in face. Hmm. Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but what is this? What are you guys doing? Seriously, what are you thinking? What? If you haven't been sleeping in, you'd already be known hey. what's going on. Hmm. We actually have found this little fellow thing laying down and we tore it apart. Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. I want to see if I had any new referral when the kid had disappeared. I found it here, just like normal, but when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react or say a word. I waited there until night time for him again. Monokuma to stay there motionless. So I miss it immediately just <laughs> to find out what made Monica a tick. He's quite a sophisticated machine. He's leaves beyond any remote control toy. Why did he stop moving all of a sudden? We didn't find any cause of him taking the car. Maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind, something unexpected. <laughs> they were probably so scared of master they ran away in terror. And maybe they got sick or something. But Monica made an announcement this morning. Who's that if not the mastermind? Oh, I'm sure that's a recording. It's set to a time when plays is necessary. This is the exact same thing every day. A bomb. There's one that's solid in every moment in the world, I'm sure. That's too bad. We need to get rid of it. If he uses this bomb as a motion sensor, any sudden movement, then it's sure to go off. That's fine. Oh, I probably should have mentioned the Russian sensor is off right now. Ah, oh, jeez, don't scare me like that. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of the century. The century's just started. Don't call the miss already. Whatever, just hurry up and put the bomb down. Um, oh, yeah, good call. Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. You just start moving all of a sudden. Is that really something happened to the mastermind that they weren't expecting? What could it have been? I couldn't help but think back to the night before, being attacked by that masked figure. Just a hey, Amakoto! Did you hear a thing we just mm -hmm. said? Mm -hmm. That's done with the Smith and Monokuma. We've decided to continue our fetches assault. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Since the mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance. What? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay yourself. Or go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You can be Such chicken number chicken. six. This is the battle. A fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. Come on. It's all clear. You're right. I'll go with you. How about that? Rattle, rattle. It's locked. As expected, we're going to tear this door off the hinges. Wait, the rules say we see that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. So, in other words... We'll just have to finish our business before what? that can happen. We've come this far. We can't back down. We agreed to do this. I mean... What the heck? For real? Okay. Let's rip this door down. Actually. Okay, but how are we going to do that? This hmm. thing looks pretty sturdy. Then we need something sturdy of our own. Then how about that one thing? The thing in the tool shed. Oh yeah, the pickaxe. I see. Interesting. That could be very well exactly what we need. Now then, Toko, what time is it? It's all clear now. We'll get the pickaxe. We'll be back here by 9.01. Naturally. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? What? Well, if it's me and you time. You know how much time it takes you to say that? 10 seconds. Take too long. I don't waste your distance from my consciousness. 
No problem to solve by running away. Find your stones and be a man. If you spend all your time. Hey. Uh, um. Maybe, but I'm still super stressed. I'm all flubber. I'm so flab. 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 Bruce, where did that come from? Wait, genocide Joe or Deacon? Hello, hello, genocide. it's a wonder if it's murder or fiend. You gotta greet you with a razor sharp smile. Yeah! What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you're sleeping in beside you sleeping in beside the pickaxe. Uh -huh. Sleeping in beside I'll ask you, you wound me with your exe executive level bar. Push <laughs> why here comes the bloody nose. Give it a rest. Oh my god, these fatty asses, that's what you need pre for the memory factory. Not possible. Mm, yes. Oh yeah, the light bulb just went on. That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. Alright, what's that one mystery? That means there's just one more mystery. Mm. Yep, now I just need to figure out the idea the identity of how to get cats. <sighs> Did you already forget what you were talking about? I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I won't found one in the garden. <laughs> corpse! Did you hear me? I said a corpse! That's right, I found a corpse in the garden. What did you say? Come on. We're going to the garden. Actually, I think we do have time to do at least part of the investigation today. I saw someone laying on the ground with a, with a mask, with a smile for hours at a time. And there's a knife buried in their stomach up to the hill. Are they really dead? For sure, but who is it? Just to make things clear, last night I was attacked by someone wearing a mask, and now they're. I don't know why, but now they're lying dead in front of me. No way! Is this really a dead body? You need to begin looking around right away, but be ever so careful. There's no telling what you might find. You need to find out who actually is, but there's no way. The victim is a total mystery, but one thing I do know is that whoever this is, they attacked me last night. Why? Hmm. Their hearts are beating, they're not breathing, and all thinks of that neck that is in their stomach, their clothes are in a state of bright, bright pink. The blood is still wet, so don't touch it and get some stuff on you. Hmm. I'm pretty sure it's a girl at least. I see the outline of a chest and the general shape of her body. I'm sure it's a girl, then it could be. Okay then, let's just tear the mask thing off. Wait, don't. Toko should be dead. Come on. Hurry up, cut out the fire. Come on, jump the water onto it. I guess that took care of it. But what the hell, man? It exploded? I had a bad feeling about the body, but I never matched it what it was. And now the body... It's going through Chris. Set the prayer to a stake. I'll never eat steak again. But now it's really charged. Ah, we're gonna figure out who it was. Who is it here right now? If we can say who's not here, though, we can know who this is. It's Kyoko. Kyoko? And that dead body is Kyoko? No, that can't be right. Calm down, I didn't say it was Kyoko. There is one other person. The mastermind. Normally the idea wouldn't be worth considering, but I have a reason to believe it may be true. The mastermind being dead would explain that other matter. Monica Mikano would be moving around if his master is dead, right? But that course is a girl, right? Remember what all three just said? So that very remote person may master be the mastermind. According to the files, that master of the man is the late 30s. Someone in the school right now. What the heck? Said so the mastermind is some middle aged dude, right? That could mean the mastermind isn't that master? Is it the teenage girl that mm -hmm. you ever told me that about? Muto Ruko Ikusawa, the 16th student at Hope's Peak, the one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. The other day, Kyoko confided me. She said there was a 16th student here in the school. Well, 
Fuck yeah, Yoko told me it was. The, the music's kind of drowning you out, Kyoko. Lying hidden somewhere in the school. The one they call the ultimate despair. Watch out for her. It sounds like Kyoko thinks Mukuro Yukisaba is the mastermind. No, the headmaster isn't the mastermind, I'm sure of it. I don't have proof yet, but I've no doubt I'm right. There's another student here, and it's a female that would match the body characteristics. And that phrase, the ultimate despair, it sounds super mastermindy, doesn't it? Okay, so the mastermind is this girl, Murkro, and she's a student here, and she's the ultimate despair. But if she's been hiding here in the school like some teenage Bigfoot, how'd she wind up going to a pit? I think we better take a, look at, a closer look at the body. What? Um. Are we forgetting something? You know, Toko. <laughs> she got totally blown up. Forget about it. I'm sure the explosion totally vaporized her. Oh, she survived. Oh, she survived. What just happened, Master? You played for the whole world to see that you would never inhale a single molecule of oxygen. And I don't mind me breathing in the carbon dioxide you exhale. That's enough for me to live. to the body. It's a key. Is this what they took from Monica so and That's right. The key she stole was shaped like Monokuma. This isn't anything like that. And this key is... What? What is it? Did you find something? Yeah, this was on the ground near the body. I've never seen this key before. <laughs> Makoto, I'm gonna give you a very important task. The key might give you access to a certain area you thought might be locked. The bylaw, the data center, the headmaster's room, the door locked. It's in your hands. But I need to go continue checking out the body. all that running around paid off. I immediately had to back to the garden. So you're back. How'd it go? I found where the key go to. It's a data center. So we can get into the data center now. Why did the deceased have the key on them? I suppose we'll just have to go to the data center to find out. Hmm. Here we are. Looks like um, the door's still unlocked. Uh, um. So why, when you open that door last time, when you open the door, there's going to be another big kaboom like last time. <laughs> Don't worry, we have Makoto. It's in your hands. <laughs> it means I trust you. That's an absolute lie. I'm just being used. In a word, the room was strange. I mean, all the rooms up till now were strange, but this room had a special type of strangeness. Here, the fuel was lurking beneath the surface. Hey, that's... Look at all these monitors on the wall. Look what they're showing. What? This is the direct feed from the surveillance camera. We feed back into the room and they're displayed here on these monitors. Well, the sole purpose of this room is to block us. It's all clear. This is the mastermind's private room, without a, without a doubt. So the mastermind was here, watching us. <laughs> then I think this settles it. 
the body in the garden. If they had the key to the stream, that could only be one thing. That was the body of Mukro Ikusaba, and she was the mastermind. <laughs> it's too bad they had to go and die before Master could kill them themselves. The mastermind is dead? Does that mean it's all over? That means the body. But... If the mastermind really is dead, then we can finally get out of this cow hole. Hmm. If the mastermind truly is dead, we can leave whenever we decide to. But right now, we need to find why the mastermind set up this life or death game in the first place. And I'm bothered by the fact that the mastermind was obviously murdered. Naturally. So you think so too, huh? Naturally. Hmm. You said the court breaks the plan today. There absolutely is no doubt. The mastermind was murdered. Such ignorance. I'm telling you. Hmm. Okay, then well, let's begin our search. The door is kind of creepy. It's got a picture of Monokuma. Um, the door is locked. What if you use the key to open this room? No good. It wanted yeah. to fit in the keyhole. The mastermind's dead, right? So nothing will happen to us. Hmm. They're all on, but they seem to be locked. Huh? The mastermind could have been using these <laughs> to monitor the network and alter what? ego. The mastermind has been using these to spy on us. As long as I have this, look at Master Go. How long is a monthly membership? Hmm. There's nothing showing up on this one. I'll hey, isn't that, that a TV antenna? It's just like the one my grandma uses. It's only one of those high def antennas. We can. You know? Saturday morning Keen is here. Are you talking about me? Anyway, if we, if we can watch TV, let's do you it. Know? Come on. You're all stuck for info about the outside world. It'd be quantum leaping your way onto the TV. You know? Huh? Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Good news for all of you Saturday morning kitties out there. I think I got the TV working. Mm. Now all we gotta what? do is switch it on. Freaking idiot, Mastermind. All you gotta do is cut it. All you guys need to cut yourself free from the of the outside world. And they were sitting here watching TV the whole time. They really thought they could get away with it? This is, it's a feed coming from the surveillance camera the monitoring this room, right? Come on. Huh? Hey, what are you doing? That's really weird, huh? You're weird what? in every way possible. But the TV isn't hooked up to anything but the antenna, so how's it showing the camera feed? Uh, uh. Did you try changing the channel? What the heck? Is it broken or Could something? No, there might be some kind of trick to it, some weird setup. A trick? What kind of trick? Actually, I'm not sure, but... Huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> huh? What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, been a while, you fucking bastards! <laughs> Me, Dad, don't be freaking stupid. They're acting kind of strange, something feels of different. Of course I'm different. Evolution is perfectly natural. After all, I've been out of the for two years already. Oh, Monokuma, you just gave that away. Are you loving Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> the look on your faces right now is sublime. That's what I want to see. The moment you went from hope to despair. Don't tell me you pretend to be dead of all for this moment. Why would a bear pretend to be dead? You're the ones who got who should pretend to be dead when you see a bear. I mean, that's totally laughable. It makes me laugh. I'm going to laugh now. Ha 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 ha. And that's that. Well then, it's almost time to come off your past and full of hope. And to begin to spare out the future in front of you. I want you to have way more fun in this killing game. Get out of here? Are you so obsessed with getting out of here? How do you not get it? There is no getting out of here. And besides, this isn't all bad, you know. I mean, there's stuff you won't like about life where it doesn't matter, matter where you are. Is this the worst? Does that mean you're in despair? Well, I poop from all that laughing. I get to the point now. You guys really struck gold when you found that TV. Yes, indeed, that TV is an essential part of your school, I fear. What the heck? Look how attentive they are now. Well, I'm gonna let you in on a blood and show this gushing secret and tell you all about it. That TV is absolutely without a doubt. It's playing the signal coming in from the antenna. What the 
I'm just playing the signal, but it's not playing there. You're so stupid. You don't get it? Fine, I'll just tell you. This killing game is being broadcast live to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. This what? This killing game is being broadcast to the entire world. It's the most popular thing on TV. Broadcast live to the entire world? It can't be out. They're taking over the airways somehow. The camera feed is being broadcast. No way that's being possible. That kind of overconfidence is a major weakness to your crisis management system, you know that. All you need is one weird trick that I found and hijacking the airways is easy mode. Of course! Of course! I heard a kind of creepy, but that sound was coming from my own mind. Hey, Everything has a meaning, you know. All those hints I gave you, all those simplified and tidbits about the school's mysteries. Even me learning you here right now! Why would I do any of that without a reason? It was all for my captive audience. To show them the true despair like they've never seen it before. I became the director of a despair based production. This is the ultimate reality show, the best in despair entertainment. Um, actually, what if they already did try to come rescue you? But then again, it's not really any of their business, right? I mean, sure, some people might yell at their TV to try and warn you, but who would actually come you to help? You think that's possible? I don't really personally, I don't this really know personally be. though, so why would I Yes, yeah, so all things come so far. Well, that's a secret. That's all things you all. That's something you all need to do first. This little business of. A bot. Huh? Flash trial? Do you mean? I'll leave the next monocle file right here. Everyone, give it all you got, okay? Think, okay, things are getting go crazy from here now. You forgot to ride. I thought that we could finally get out of here. It's what do you say about the class trial? The class trial is a class trial. At this point, we have to figure out who the culprit is. Who killed the Kyoko? The victim was female, right? Kyoko certainly feels like a prediction. And if Monokuma is still alive and active, that means the mastermind, Mikuriko, Mikuro, Kisaba isn't dead. So that body can't belong to her. So it must be Kyoko. The body is Kyoko? Kyoko's been murdered? Because I don't know anything about her yet. I don't know any future really is traveling around like this. I don't believe it. I refuse Quiet. to believe it. The truth is the truth. It's your responsibility to recover the truth by yourself. But, but if we're gonna have a class trial, that means the That's killer. Right. Correct, there must be someone participating in our school life. So you're saying one of us killed Kyoko? That's not precisely what I'm saying, no. Stop talking. I don't have time to explain now. There's a veritable mountain of issues I need to confirm. So I'm going to begin my search. If you value lives, put everything you have into this. That's how this game works after all. Banger time! Through the explosion, the victor's identity went on. Uh, however, they're dead before the blast. The victim had to stab a single time with a knife, which went completely through the body. They also been struck with the head with an object about as thick as a metal pipe. The body was covered in, in, with other wounds, but these were at least a day old. Okay, time to get started. I need to check everything. I just need to do as I always do. Ever check the body more thoroughly? Then maybe I'll find out for sure if it's Kyoko or not. Huh? There's something weird about the body's hand. Other oh, thick nails. They're really long. It seems to get in the way of normal activity. There's also something in the back of her hand. Is that a fact too? It looks like it's a picture of a dog. The lower half of the body didn't get wet at all. The bottom half isn't wet. There's something strange about that, right? The upper half of the body got set in the fire by the first that totally blackened. And the top half of the body is wet. That's because it got set in fire and I threw water on it. The bottom half is still dry. There's nothing strange. There isn't, right?
these look like fragments of something. They're all birds, so I can't be sure. But I can't. Wait, was it there? I'll have to double check that later. There's a knife laying on the ground. Is this? It must be the knife that was stuck in the body before. The force of the explosion must have forced it out. The knife is in the body. This was what caused the fatal injury? This knife, it looked really familiar. Wait, is this? It's a knife that I was attacked with. This is getting really weird. There are too many strange coincidences. Whoever the person in the mask was that attacked me that night, they were holding that knife. And now that same mask is used to have that same mask attacked we found here. So maybe this mask is the reason this mask pressing up sad because when they attacked me I was gonna kinda of stance and then maybe I and if this really is Kyoko, then it means Kyoko is the one that attacked me. Then why the mask? Remember there's some chickens in the chicken coop. There are six chickens! Huh? Four? No, there are six chickens in there. What's going on, Makoto? Do you remember how many chickens were in there? There are precisely five. There's only four. There's six chickens. That's too weird. I wonder when they disappeared. I was literally down here before nighttime and there were five chickens there. What are we gonna do? Going for five to four is gonna have an impact on the structure of the world. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. If even one piece is used, the entire world will remain unfinished. The sprinklers should on the sprinklers should have gone to wet, which means the murder must have taken place. This is McCutter, do you remember how the body looked before it blew up? Okay. That's how we remember how it looked, so thank you too. Who does that body belong to? I'm not gonna look, I'm not gonna faint anymore. I'm on a cool flower, huh? I don't think it's related to this case. Hmm. It's 11 o'clock right now, and I was just thinking about when we first found the body. When the body was found, Monica was announced that it was at 7 o'clock. When I met up with Ina, that was around 7.30. Then I had to the gym where everyone else was waiting. Then when Tucker went to go get the pickaxe, where she found the body, what time was it then? <laughs> that drove in right around 9 o'clock. So that says the body was found at 9 a.m. That's a pretty small job when the body was found. Hmm. Good time, Makoto. I wanted to talk to you. What do you want to talk about? I'd like to hear your alibi. I'd like to hear you where you were after nighttime. So I was asleep all night. Naturally. It's obvious this murder took place after <laughs> nighttime. Because just after nighttime began, I came to the garden. I was looking for everyone. I've been spending most of the time in the garden. You have been spending most of the time here. There's no body here last night. So the murder could only take place at some time during nighttime after I left the garden. However, Toko, Hiro, Hina, and I were in the gym. <laughs> Once I found here in the garden, I immediately went to Toko. We all, we all began dismantling Monokuma. All four of us are very tired alibis. Well, right. And if the victim really is Kyoko, then I'm the only one without an alibi. What? So where precisely were you? <laughs> I had a fever. That's hardly an alibi. <laughs> so what now? You seem to be quite the disadvantage here. Like, so, I hear this game was originally, like, done, like, translated by someone, like, being played in Japan, and then translated to English before it. Is this a tart? Was there a tart in here before? And, like, just imagine doing that. Like, having to wait for each update. The top is wet, but then falling with mud. It's like, one side of the tarp is wet and dirty. There's one thing here that concerns me. There's something hard to handle this pickaxe. 
This pickaxe is commanded to demando some like demando some of them. I think I've checked into everything, but there are areas I need to check. There's five when I found before. There's somewhere I need to go, and I need to find out more about Kyoko. Is that corpse really Kyoko? Does that mean she also attacked me? Maybe if I can get into her room, I can find out more. But the key to her room. It's all clear now. I don't have a choice. All I have to let him keep is let him borrow a room key. Hmm. Hey, I'll be honest with you. I thought about that. You have the key to kill the room. I was the guy to borrow it. I can't take that risk. You're the kind of suspect. If I were to go with you, then will you go with me? I have my own agenda. Find me again later and we'll see. Depending on my mood, I may go with you. I have to check out that one area. There are wooden lockers here. Oh, we can finally fast travel during the investigation. Let's go. laying the sand on the floor, but I figured it wouldn't be here. A bomb, and that bomb that went missing. The fragments that I found in the garden. Okay, I checked it. All I can think of is get the room. I should head back to the garden and ask Biakia. You just assumed the up yet. You want to check out the other room? Fine, wait for me. I can't unlock it myself. I need to ask Biakia. Hmm. Well, then here we go. And it's open. Looks like it. Thanks. This is Kyoko's room. There's something on the table. It looks like a woodblock decoration. What? what purpose does it serve? It's probably a key. The lockers at those traditionally traditional hmm. public bathhouses. It's certainly. Hmm. It is key, unless I'm mistaken. It gives you a ghost to the dojo. What? You wanted to come here, right? So what is it you're looking for? Come Hopefully on. Hopefully don't understand Kyoko. If you find them poking around at random, we do no matter how much time you take. Something more concrete. Oh, I know. Earlier, Kyoko gave me something. What's in the envelope? Well, something certainly has happened, so I opened it. What? That's all that was in there? Under the sheets, what could it be? What could somebody... Last 78 Miss Junior Registry, Mukuro Rikusaba. It appears to be Mukuro Rikusaba's profile. That's probably the other thing that Jacob showed when she was in, snuck in the headmaster's room along with the key. 
God, you're so annoying. You're fine. I was a key in blank. Let us be the blatant that Mona came out. Kyoko said a death without meaning would be unappealing, and this is what she left behind. Name Muku Yukisaba, sex female, the ultimate soldier of this small for her age. She was a military specialist trained in every weapon imaginable. She showed an interest in the military from childhood and found herself absorbed in it. In elementary school, she won a survival game tournament and began writing for military magazines. Just before under middle school, while her family were on vacation in Europe, she disappeared. The story of a young Japanese girl being kidnapped quickly overtook, overtook Japanese radio outfits. Uh, she was never found. However, she reappeared in Japan three years later and completely unannounced. She revealed she had joined a mercenary group known as Fenrir. She insisted she had been kidnapped and she should be retreating and training of her own volition. She never revealed why she required to return home, return home as she did. The Ultimate Soldier, a mercenary group. I see. Never imagined I'd hear the name Fenrir in a place like this. The Fenrir Mercenary Coast is a collection of battle crazed warmongers. But they do have their uses and they get the job done. That's worth remembering. This is all part of our total world room worm from one I'm in. Every room that Fenrir has already. Whoa, I feel like our hero has become almost becoming a bit player, and our bit players are becoming a hero. What have you got in your pretty little head there? Uh oh, you found your profile. Don't forget on me, I'm not gonna hold it against you, and I don't hold it against Kyoko or anything, even though she stole it and hid it. After all, there's no real against stealing. But what I can't give, forgive, is this ugly me. You broke the rules and busted into the headmaster's room. Maybe I'll drag your corpse out here and devour it. There's our ominous, you know. A proper school life is built on dedication of organization and order. Which is why, even though I is a school life master, I have to follow the regulations myself. So you're saying you have to follow your own rules? Absolutely. I can't have you complaining about how unfair it is, can I? On the subject of fairness, would you like to know something interesting? It's about the one actor writing all the rules. In fact, it's one of the participants in the killing game. I actually never I actually ever told you how many participants there were. I should probably clarify that. When you all first got here, there were 15 people, right? I think that first meeting may have led to a little misunderstanding among you all. A misunderstanding, I'm saying. There weren't actually 15 of you. The total number of students taking part in the killing game was actually 16. Mukuro Hikusaba, the 16th student, the one they call the ultimate despair. He's part of the school life, so the ones making all the regulations is. Mm, did you say something? Why are you telling us this? Oh, well, because, like I told you, this killing game is desperately popular. You wouldn't believe the ratings, and since we've got so many viewers now, I want to make sure everyone I know was on the same page. I didn't want to wake up to a hurricane of complaints and hate mail, you know. Makes sense? Well, now. Okay, that's all you get for now. Oh, I do have some revenge to get, so here's an extra bonus for you. Yeah. <laughs> I want to get back at the sneaky Miss Q. You saw so me share a secret um, with you. You know how she wears those stupid gloves day in and day out all the time? I don't know anyone who told you, but she wears them to cover a bunch of hideous scars that she doesn't want anyone to see. Okay, now that's all you got. That tattoo. Which means the fake nails on that person. Hmm. Are you thinking about Kyoko what? again? Forget about her. What matters is what now is uncovering Monica in the trap. God, it must have really hated you to make you so dull. But if you remember what Monokuma just told us, he said there were 60 students, right? Which means Mukuro was a student here. Obviously, Monokuma was trying to tell us that Mukuro is the one creating the rules of the game. But to me, in fact, he said that, that Mukuro is connected to this case. That's why Monokuma revealed the end of it. I need to make the investigation fair. Mikuro's so related to the case. Perhaps she's the one who took Kyoko. That would explain why we have to have a class trial. If she's a student and she killed someone, that would make part of the school killing game. Hmm. What? Based on what Mona Kimo told me, Mikuro Yukisaba hmm. isn't the culprit. We thought Mikuro was a mastermind's true identity, but because of that, Mona Kimo why would the mastermind so reveal them to us? Mukuro gave me some information that would raise questions about her would be bold to give us, to say the least. 
So it makes more sense to say that Mithro is in the cover. They want us to select Mithro. If Mithro is in the cover, then who is? I believe her work is finished. Let's go. There are wooden lockers here. They all use woodblock keys. It looks like the key found in Kyoko's room. You see the large part of the right? That's the only one that doesn't have a key in it at the moment. Do you understand what that means? I should probably use the key we found in that locker, huh? There are arrows in here. It looks like ten arrows. It looks like they're made of titanium. They're quite strong. Strong sticks. Oh, there's something else inside the locker. It's a water piece of duct tape. Is that a blood stain? It must surely be related to the case somehow. How could that possibly be involved? Is There's something wrong? It's very odd. The odd the locker was out of guidance and it's only related to the case. Put out of the lo key to the locker and wind up in the victim's room. Or perhaps... You have yet? Forget it. Come on, we need to continue what? our next search for the next location. We need to do more research on Fenrir. Let's go. I believe there was a file related to Fenrir somewhere here. Hmm. Ah, here we go. I see. Take a look at this. What language is this? How do you make it all the high school without learning a single word of French? I'm sure pretty I'm pretty sure most high schoolers can't read French. Whatever you. I'll read it for you, but I respect you to repay your debt a hundred times over. Fenrir is the least fighting unit based out of the Middle East. Unlike military contractors, they are a fierce group of soldiers who engage in direct combat. They claim that a single member is equivalent to an entire company of regular soldiers. Just like Fenrir, the Wolf of Ragnarok, the mere presence is enough to strike fear into the enemy. They, they might have been involved in countless military battles and operations, most of which are highly classified. However, some time ago they completely ceased our activity. Their continued existence cannot be confirmed. Their unconfirmed reports that key members of the group were all neutralized. Reports indicate they were, that they were kept to keep them from revealing the many state secrets they'd acquired. Some, however, believe they were mounting internal tension within the group and they simply imploded. What? This all just sounds like some kind of alternate reality. Hmm. Well, it isn't. This is our reality. And the only rea reality. Those, these people are a part of our world. The battlefields aren't as much different from our lives here. A unpredictable, unimaginable world. That's what makes it all so exciting. Could anything jump out of you? This might be your last opportunity to learn about Fenrir. <laughs> Fenrir is the Wolf of Ragnarok. Would you like to know something interesting in that? So each soldier who joins that squad would get a tattoo representing Fenrir on the somewhere on their body. is utterly silent and yet it constantly it damages us little by little anyway so <laughs> hmm. the time has That's come right. all we can do is uncover the truth during the class trial or the fake truth Obiaka and Makoto showed up together. Hmm. We were investigating, of course. How could you not figure that out, of course? Makoto's been high enough to go out together, just the two of you? What are you jealous? Are you making up what? some sort of creepy fantasy? He'll be here any second. Any second. He could show up at any time. But we stood there for five full minutes for something weird to happen. And then five million uh -huh. times. What's going on here? Why is Mark Kuma show up yet? Maybe he died again? Or what? Jesus. Yeah. Oh, did I scare you? Why'd you waste my time to make you wait? What? I made you wait? You're the one who's making me wait. In other words. I'm waiting for everyone to arrive. We can't start until everyone's here. <laughs> Sorry, but come on. I've waited 10 minutes now, so it's okay if I punish the one making us all right. 
If we all agree to violation, I'll arrange a punishment. If it's me you're waiting for, I'm here. Okay. I'm here, and no rules have been broken. Kyoko, ah. you're so alive. No, that's a ghost. Let's talk nothing. If you want to fight, you're at the class trial. You need to save some of the fun for later. But it's okay, there's no particular penalty for being late. I made it here just fine. What's good regulation did I break? Am I wrong? You're so selfish, so spoiled, you're right. There's no penalty officially. But I bet you'll be sorry later. No, I'll make sure you're sorry later. Alright, I'll tell you about something the elevator. It's one step ahead. I'll be one step ahead of you. Kyoko, so you really didn't die. Of course I didn't die. Thank God, I'm so glad you're okay. Perhaps, but that's not necessarily a good thing for us. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Whatever we need to discuss, we can do it during the trial. Uh, um. But... Listen, before we get started, I have to ask you, where have you been this whole time? You said key yeah. to go somewhere. I went to investigate the second floor That's of the right. dorms. There are any monitors or cameras there, so they would avoid Monokuma completely. <gasps> also missed his announcement. I had no idea a body had been discovered. So... Just now I finished my search and came back down just in time to the class trial. I took some time to go over the crime scene first. I can't go over try completely uninformed. However... So I kept you all waiting. Wrong. In other words... I used Monokuma's secret tool, but can never open any lock in the school. Just a second! Makoto. We can go over the details after we get through the trial. Right now I just want to focus on surviving a certain situation. Because this is probably the single most crucial one for me. Goodbye. Well, if that's all... Forever since we've gotten together like this. We found some pointless jokes and jabs in the past. Let's get on with the show! And that is gonna be where we end the stream, gamers! for watching we're gonna go read we're gonna go host cramsters I have an appointment I need to get to so I will go do that I will see you all later all right bye bye